Friends of Model Trains, welcome to another video in our Digital for Beginners series. In the last video, we showed you how to control locomotives using the Z21 app. Today, I'd like to show you how to switch your digital turnouts via the app too. To control turnouts digitally via the app, we of course have to store these in the app. That is what the signal box is for. You can see a large empty box. There's a plus symbol in the upper area. Using the plus symbol, you can add new symbols to the quick selection list. These include the track symbols, various turnouts, decouplers, signals, switches, and if you want, also buildings. It all depends on how detailed your signal box should be. In this case, we want to create turnouts. So first, we select the right-hand turnout. This is then shown here at the top. By tapping on a free box, the turnout is added. Then you add a left-hand turnout and just put it on the other side. Now you can see that that doesn't quite comply with the track diagram. To correct this, tap the hand symbol here at the top. Now you can highlight the symbol and then use two fingers to magnify it a bit. At the bottom, you'll now see a small selection list. You can get back into the edit menu anytime using the cog symbol. Here you can adapt the address. In this case, it's the address 5. The other turnout has the address 1, but the position still isn't right. For this purpose, we have to rotate the symbols down here. Now you can rotate the symbols so that they fit to each other. Now the turnouts still have to be connected with the tracks. Here too, we have a straight track. Simply tap on each individual one to connect the tracks together. Down there, we'll add another straight track. Now we need the curved track. There's the bend. And there we have our system ready. If you then want to connect the whole lot, we also have the sharp curve. This allows you to connect the system as a circle. Again, we have to make some adjustments. Then we simply add the symbols and already you have installed your test system in the app. Finally, or in between times, click on the disk symbol up here and save your work. If you're constructing a large signal box, a query will appear every now and then as to whether the file should be saved, which the app will then do for you automatically. If you have large systems, you'll see that you can zoom and also move the image back and forth, but at some point, you'll start to lose the overview. Then you can add a second page using the plus symbol in order, for example, to design a railway station separately. The second page is then named Railway Station and you can create a second, third, and fourth tab to permit the explicit presentation of several system sections. You can change the test anytime using the pen symbol. Here, for example, everything in the system is filed. Then comes the Railway Station, Shunting Station, Goods Station, and the Railway Depot. However you want to set it up, you can simply add individual areas via the plus symbol or also delete them, then the page is gone again. If you haven't yet saved your work and you want to go back via the arrow key, the app will ask you if the changes should be saved. Yes, we would like to save our changes. Now we go into the Drive menu and can see only part of our system depicted there. 
You can zoom in here too. At the bottom here, there's a small lock symbol. If I activate this lock symbol, then the signal box window is locked. This means that you can't accidentally move the signal box window whilst driving. Next to that is the cross symbol. If you tap on that, then the signal box is displayed large. In this way, you can use the tablet to view the signal box where you can zoom in appropriately for the system and size. Then you can switch the turnouts via the tablet and drive via the multi-mouse or your smartphone. Here too, you can lock everything and not move it by accident, and yet you can still switch turnouts. Once the tracks are set up, you can dedicate yourself to the railway station building. Here a note will appear, and you can just say that this is now your railway station building. This is how you can design sections accordingly on larger systems in particular. There's the goods shed. Add a few buildings. In this way, you can create a completely individual design. Here are a few trees so that you can make the whole thing more green, depending on whether you like that or not. Then save your work again and call it up in the control menu. Another thing you've got are the set routes. Simply add the set route image, tap it, and select the little star again. Then there's an item down here called select route. Here you can determine turnouts, turnout position, and how they should be switched. In our case, we want to make a straight set route. And now we select the second set route and determine that here the two turnouts should be set to branch off. You can see how this works on our system. In this way, you don't have to switch each turnout, but rather can switch the turnout or set routes accordingly by selecting the set route symbol. We'll save that again. If you then select the system, you can test how the route set is switched to branch and then back to straight. However, I can of course also switch the turnouts manually at any time or decide that both turnouts should always be switched at the same time. Then you switch the set route. If the turnout is now switched, you will see that the switching diagram in the app doesn't match the real position of the turnout tongue on the system. What do you have to do then? Rebuild everything? No, you can just go back into the signal box, select the turnouts, and tap the cog symbol for settings once more. Then you can adapt the turnout position diagram using these items here. If you save your work now, go back into the menu and switch the turnouts, you will see that the turnout is now on straight or branch. This means that the turnout position in the app matches the turnout position on our system again. And that's all on the subject of signal boxes. We've set up our turnouts, we can switch turnouts, we can control locomotives. In the next video, you can learn how to program locomotives via the app. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time!